You know, the Lord said that He has chosen to put heavenly treasure in earthen vessels. And I thank God that He has done that. God is able to use men and women all over this world to accomplish His work and His will and His assignment for us in these last days. I was just sitting out here relaxing this afternoon. It's such a beautiful day here. And just enjoying God's creation and having a nice cold bottle of water. And I began to think about that bottle and just kind of examine it. Think about the water. You know, there's not a lot to this bottle, this vessel. But it is important. Now, you always hear people say, when it comes to the ministry and men and women of God, that it's never about the man or the woman. And I take license with that thought because if it wasn't about the vessel, why does God constantly work on the vessel? Now, this plastic, it's not much to speak of. I'll finish the water, crumple the bottle, and throw it away. But this bottle at one time was pure liquid. It was poured into a mold. It was heated, pressurized, and then cooled to form a vessel to carry this water. The vessel is important. You never need to neglect the vessel. But of course, always the most important thing is the content in the vessel. While the vessel alone, alone is not important, without the vessel, we couldn't have anything to hold the water in. And so God, looking upon the weakness of men, chose to place heavenly treasures in earthen vessels. Now, we can live without the vessel, but you won't live long without the contents of this vessel. We have to have water to live. Those of us who love God and are looking forward to going to heaven to live with Him realize that we must be filled with His presence, with His glory, with His power, with His anointing, with His mind, with His Word filled. And so we must be sure that we keep this vessel cleansed, prepared, to receive all that He has for us. Friend, today, if you focus on cleansing yourself, on bringing yourself before God and asking Him to show you any imperfections there may be in your vessel, I promise you, He will fill you. You will never be dry. You will never be empty. He will fill you with the most magnificent flow of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and anointing. So, don't criticize the vessel too much, but just remember, this vessel has not always looked like this. And what you look like now is not what you'll look like on down the road. No, I may not be what I'm going to be, but I'm a long way from what I used to be. God bless you. Be filled.